I'm Ellie Davis. I'm Charlie Goodman. I'm Marissa Gurley. And we thank you, school board members, for everything you do. I'm Marie Driver. I'm Luke Dunn. And thank, thank you, you to, to the school, school board members for everything that you do. Hi, guys. Thank you so much for everything you do for our school. Your leadership is definitely trickle down, and we appreciate how conscientious you all are for our health and safety as teachers, as well as all of the students and employees. And we appreciate all you do for the betterment of our school district as well. Thank you, school board. We at Highland really appreciate y'all. Y'all are awesome. Thank you. Hi, my name is Maddox Sinclair. Thank you, school board. Highland School District school board members for all you do. Hi, I'm Hadlin Crawford. Thank you, Highland School District board members, for everything you do for us. Thank, Thank you. you. Hi, my name is Trina Collins, and I'm Sherry Pryor, and we would like to thank the school board members. Thank you very much for all you do. Hi, I'm Jamie Martin from Cherokee Elementary School. I'm the assistant principal, and we would like to thank the school board for all that they do for us. And I'm Casey Hunt, the dean of students and instructional facilitator at CES, and we just really appreciate everything that you guys do every day, making sure we have everything we need. Hi, I'm Shauna Brewer, second grade teacher at Cherokee Elementary School, and we just wanted to say thank you to our school board for always putting us and our students first. Hi, I'm Jessica Goodman. I'm Amber Qualls. And I'm Sarah Shelley. We all teach first grade here at Cherokee Elementary School, and we're so thankful for all the support we, we receive from our school board. Hi, I'm Lana Rogers. I'm a third grade teacher here at Cherokee Elementary, and I just want to say thank you to all of our board members. We appreciate everything that you do to keep our school safe and keep our uh, school a pleasant learning environment where the um, teachers love working here and children love coming to school every day. Hi, I'm Miss Karen. I'm Miss Miranda. I'm Miss Andrea. I'm Miss Nicole. And I'm Miss Virginia. And we would like to thank you for everything you do for us. Thank you Thank so you. much. Thank you. Hi, my name is Jake Harrington. I am a junior in high school, and I want to say thank you to the school board for all that they do for the school. Hi, my name is Charles Dawkins, and I'd like to say thank you to the school board for everything they do. My name is Victoria Curtis, and I just want to say thank you to the school board for everything y'all do. Hello, my name is Kendall Rhodes, and I'm a student at Highland High School. I'm a freshman this year, and I'm going to give a big thanks to the school board for everything you've done for us. Uh, Helping with the games and all that. My name is Edmund Jones and I'm a freshman this year at Highland High School. And I just want to give out a big thanks to the school board for keeping us safe and letting us have a great education. My name is Maddie Ross. I'm a ninth grader this year and I want to say thank you to the school board for all that, th that they've done for us. Hey, Mr. Mahaffey and I, we just want to thank all of you for your support and all the hard work you all do for the staff, the community and most importantly, the students that we all serve. And thank you for helping us empower all to achieve. Good evening. This month, we're doing our above and beyond recognitions a little bit different. We decided we didn't want to have such a large crowd at the school board meeting, so Miss A.K. Barnes and, and her crew are doing some videos and we're presenting our awards uh, virtually. Uh, or we're presenting the recognitions to you virtually. So our first award is a Cherokee Elementary student, Aiden Pettit. Aiden, you gonna smile a little bit? Or are you getting nervous for the camera? Huh? You were talking a while ago. So Aiden Pettit is a fourth grade student at Cherokee Elementary in Miss Ladd's homeroom class. Aiden is a terrific student who has shown amazing growth and achievement in his reading and math diagnostic testing and in his classroom grades as well. Aiden is a very confident and well-spoken student, even though we can't get him to say anything now, <laughs> right? Uh, always taking the time to give a smile, say hi, and visit with everyone around him. While we are so proud of Aiden's academic accomplishments this far in his schooling, we are even more proud of the character that he displays every day. Aiden is the best big brother to his younger sister with special needs. Aiden walks her to class every day, always with his arm around her shoulder and talking so sweetly to her the whole way. He helps her move through the car rider line in the afternoons, always making sure that she is comfortable and happy. The love he has for his sister is so obvious and she adores him as well. 
Aiden is also a wonderful friend to his classmates and very respectful of his teachers. We are so proud of the young man that Aiden is becoming and we know that his big heart and loving personality will serve him very well in life. That's awesome, man. That is awesome. So Aiden, uh, Miss Martin and Miss Gaskins and myself would like to present you with this Above and Beyond certificate. Congratulations. Thank you. You got anything you want to say? Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So we have our above and beyond recognitions for the middle school, and those are going to Candace Baldridge and Abby North, and they are both seventh grade uh, middle school students and members of the Junior National Beta, whose commitment to service to others goes above and beyond. Uh, they choose to serve children in the foster system by organizing a drive to replenish the Sharp County supply closet for area foster children. Uh, materials requested are items such as blankets, backpacks, duffel bags, clothes, and, and other goods. Collected materials will be donated to Sharp County Foster Ch Children's System. So can you tell us a little bit about that? It's gonna, so for, it was for a Christmas program. They're going to wrap it up and they're going to send it to children who don't, because they usually don't even have very much clothes on their backs. That's right. Because they take it they will take it away from some of them. So we're going to give it to teen, the, um, the, the little ones and the teenagers and the older, the older ones. Well, that's, that's fantastic. So where did you guys get the idea to, for this drive? Um, my mom, um, her, she has a friend who works at the DHS office. And she said um, if we did something like this, she would put it in the newspaper and all that. My mom actually helped come up with the idea. That's right. Well, I think it's outstanding, and this is the, I mean, this is just epitomizes what going above and beyond is about. Uh, students like Abby caring for other students, and, and we are so proud of you for what you're doing, and, and thank you for what you're doing. And so we would like to give you uh, this above and beyond certificate as recognition uh, for what you're doing and and Candace is not here today but we'll get her certificate to her so uh, thank you it's 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 great to see young people like you doing great things for our community thank you sir. thank you okay so our next recognition is Preston Wright and Preston uh, is getting a recognition for all state in cross country but I before I give that to him I have a little blurb uh, that I want to read from uh, Mr. Medlock. The Highland Cross Country team had a very successful season. Throughout the season we had students medal in every meet we participated in including a team runner-up finish at Salem by the senior girls and both the senior boys and girls teams winning the Racing on the Ridge hosted by Grand County Tech. That's pretty awesome. Did you win that race? Oh uh, yeah, I came in first. You came in first? That's fantastic. You, you can run, can't you? Before I finish this, are you going to college to run? Yeah, um, uh, I just got accepted yesterday by A-State. Fantastic. You're going to run cross country at A-State? Yes. That is awesome, man. That is great. So, Mr. Medlock continues, at the conference meet, all four teams competed for the championship with the senior girls and junior girls finishing runner-up in the conference. The senior boys were one point away from capturing the conference runner-up award. Individually, the following students received all conference, Preston Wright, Ethan Copeland, and Ocean Schultz. The senior girls and boys teams traveled to Hot Springs to compete in the 4A state meet November 5th. With 33 schools participating in the meet, our senior girls finished 14th, and with 34 schools on the boys' side, our boys finished 12th. That's pretty good <laughs> for the whole state, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, that's, that's awesome. Preston Wright was awarded All-State Honors for the second year in the row, finishing eighth overall. And uh, Mr. Medlock continues, I could not be more proud of each cross-country runner and how they represented the Highland schools. They always gave their best effort and it was evident in the multiple personal records each athlete set. As a team, they were always looking out for each other and were always supporting each other every practice, every race. And I, I mean, just brag on Preston, all state two years in a row, going to ASU to run cross country, and, and our cross country program is pretty young too. I mean, we're in the fourth, I should know this, we're in the fourth or fifth year of having cross country, so we're competing well, doing a great job, 
and it's because we have folks like Preston running for us. So congratulations for the second year All-State Award, and we appreciate you, and good luck in the future. All right, thank you. Okay, so we're at the high school doing our last above and beyond recognition for this month, and we're here with the cast of Steel Magnolias. Yes. So Miss Covington uh, obviously is our uh, theater director, and these were the cast members. And before I read what Miss Floyd wrote, um, I know that some some of you as school board members went and watched, but it was absolutely amazing the job that you guys did and. It always is when Miss Covington's involved, but it was it was extraordinary. So I was really proud of you guys, and I've told uh, lots of people. I've told lots of people that. Uh, well, maybe I haven't told lots of people because it's a little bit embarrassing. But the movie Still Magnolia is always makes me cry when I watch it at the end. <laughs> and so we were there watching it, and Chloe went with us. And when it was getting to the end, she was looking at me to see if I was going to start crying, and I was like. Stop, I'm not going to cry this time. But anyway, I won't say whether I did or I didn't. But here is what uh, Miss Floyd writes about, um, about you guys. The cast and the crew of the HHS theater production of Steel Magnolias did an amazing job. Together with their director, these six girls committed to memorizing lines, countless hours of rehearsal, and three nights of public performances. If you were unable to attend the play in person, you missed an absolute treat. From acting, directing, set construction, etc., Miss Shauna Covington and these young ladies are to be commended for depicting well-known characters from a play that has been a very popular um, motion picture. Their performances were professional, funny, dramatic, and heartfelt. I thought I thought all of you guys nailed your characters too. By the way, it was like spot on. You could tell that uh, you guys did an absolute great job. But congratulations, ladies. We recommend you. For going above and beyond for your school community so what i'm going to do is i'm going to just let each one of you guys introduce yourselves and tell um, the school board um, what character you played and any other thoughts that you had on the on the production so we'll start over here with danny hello my name is danny jordan i played truvy in steel magnolias this play it means a lot to me it's just these girls were amazing. It was it wasn't stressful. We all just we got in there, we put our head down, we did our job and it was it was one of the best times I think I've ever had and after the play I was like, Oh, I, I don't have anything to do. And <laughs> I missed I missed my girls and I love them to death and I thank Miss Covington for giving me all these opportunities and my pleasure. I can't wait to do another play yes. with you obviously. Let's do it. And um, if you have any thoughts or about going to any of these plays do do it and go and support these students because they are talented beyond all belief absolutely thank you uh, my name is Allison Weber I play Clary she was one of the old ladies in the play and I have never had to play an old lady I've actually this is my first time being in a play performance I've been in little drama uh, skits and stuff like that but I mean, this is the first time that I've had to memorize a lot of lines at once, and I had a lot of fun. I mean, like, it, it is nothing to joke around about. It was a lot of hard work. I mean, I thought it was a lot of time, but I had so much fun. I love you, Miss Sean. I love Aww. everybody here. I mean, I just, it was a lifetime of love. <laughs> <laughs> good, good. Um, my name is Emily Taylor, and I played Weezer. And if you've seen the movie or you went to see the play, you know Weezer is very outspoken. <laughs> and if you know me, I'm not quite that level. <laughs> I'm, um, but it was a lot of fun to be able to like bring that side of me out into the light a little bit. And this experience was very fun. And these ladies made it just incredible. And it was a great way to spend you know, a great part of my senior year. So it was a lot of fun. I'm Naomi Ward Shackelford. I played as Mel. It was really fun to be in. It brought me out of my comfort zone, and it was just really fun, and I enjoyed being in the play with everyone. Hi, I'm Mackenzie Stewart. I played Shelby. She was a young girl who had diabetes and liked to fight with her mother a lot. So I had a lot of talent at that part. <laughs> I, I really loved just interacting with everyone of 
the girls. Everyone was different ages. Everyone got to be someone that they necessarily couldn't be in the real in their real life, and it was awesome just getting to laugh and have fun with these girls. It was amazing. Mm -hmm. And we are missing Kayla Sue Pickle, who was Malin, um, I suppose the protagonist of our play, and she was outstanding and uh, credible, believable, and very professional. And girls, my heart overflows with love and memories. It's been, uh, I have had a, a, ta a cast that's talented before, but it has been a long time, <laughs> and you girls really rose to the occasion. And I thank the school board for the opportunity to let me work with the students. Thank you, Mr. Bruce. You're absolutely welcome. You guys were fantastic, and you represent uh, you represent the best of uh, the Highland School District, so we, we appreciate you guys, and congratulations, and yes. uh, we look forward to future productions. Thank you. Thank you. Thank right. you. Okay, so we're continuing our above and beyond recognitions for this month, and we're here with Miss Jennifer Long, who's been with the district for several years, and she received an above and beyond award from the elementary school, and this is what Miss Gaskins had to say about Miss Jennifer. Jennifer Long is a critical and highly appreciated asset to the district, and the elementary school especially appreciates her. With the younger students that we have, daily dismissal could easily become a hectic and chaotic event. However, Jennifer always seems to know every child. Every child? You, you know every child? Not every child. A lot. <laughs> it, it really is amazing because if you ask Jennifer about a certain kid or a bus they ride, she knows it. And it, when you think that we have 1,000 to 1,100 students riding the bus every day, it is pretty, it is pretty amazing that she knows all that stuff. Um, she is always available in the afternoons when questions arise from parents or drivers and she helps to facilitate the communication between our school and our drivers. She also organizes all of our bus discipline referrals, creating a digital system for tracking these that allows bus incidents to be addressed very eff efficiently. And I will say that, you know, from what I've witnessed, Jennifer has done an amazing job of creating systems and putting systems in place down there to keep up with the discipline referrals and all that. So. Um, she's very good at what she does. Uh, she, she is always doing everything she can to aid in those investigations and provide insight and experience, which is also very helpful to us and helps to make school transportation a safe option for our families. The work that Jennifer does makes the jobs of so many people in the district so much easier, and we are so grateful that she is here. And this is just an, uh, another example of uh, one of our staff members at Highland going above and beyond and doing the extra things that helps to make our district uh, really a great district. So congratulations, Miss Jennifer, and um, the school board would like to recognize you, and we would like to recognize you, and do you have anything to say? Um, I enjoy working for the school district. My mom worked here for about 30 years and did something similar to what, what I'm doing now, and it, it feels good to be part of this family. Absolutely. Miss Jennifer Law, thank you. The next recognition that we would like to do for the, that we were going to do at the board meeting, but we're doing virtual, is we are going to recognize Miss Deanna Strowey, who is an absolute treasure to the Highland School District. <laughs> and she's mad at me because she didn't get to go buy a new outfit before. Wait, I think it would be antique, not treasure. To the school. Antique? Antique. Oh, antique. Yeah, yeah. So antique. just going over some of the stats that we were talking about, Miss <laughs> Strobe. Born in 1960, that kind of gives away the age yeah. a little bit. Native of Hardy, two brothers, Kevin and Joel, attended Highland the whole time? The whole time. The whole time? I didn't miss a day. Hardly. Perfect attendance. Almost perfect. Just attendance. like as a teacher, you're here every day. Pretty much. Yeah, could we verify that with Miss C? Pretty much. Pretty if much. I can be here, I'm here, right? <laughs> attended ASU. Um, Married in 1982, so that's a quite a while, while ago, years, quite a while ago. And began working for the Highland School District in 1982, so this is your 40th, 40th year. year. Actually, 40 and a half. Well, I can say every time that I see Miss Strobe, she has a smile on her face and she is always so pleasant and her students always just love being in her classroom and speak highly of her. 
But we are recognizing her. Um, she was nominated and received uh, a McDonald's Outstanding Educator Award. So we would like to say congratulations to her for being selected as a 2021 McDonald's Outstanding Educator. Her good deeds and remarkable work with the youth in our community led to this recognition from our locally owned McDonald's restaurant. So congratulations, Ms. Thank Trappy. you very much. Thank you. And we appreciate you, and we hope we get 20 more 40 years. 40 more years. 40 more years? <laughs> Maybe not 40. Well, I may give it up after 20 more. Oh, that, well, if we get 20 now. Okay. <laughs> uh, thank you, Ms. Joe. Thank you.